Hello. Professor Biochem, this is Professor Word. Oh, hello, Professor Word. Have you looked over my speech yet? Yeah, I did, and... And what? Well, I'm looking through this, and you've got a lot of grammar mistakes. Was this going to be your final draft of your speech? What? <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. Okay, 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 you know what? Grammar wasn't my favorite subject, and I didn't do so well in the essay. Hmm, well, I suggest that you fix the errors that I found in your speech. Okay. Oh, and I suggest that you watch your grammar. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Sean Allen Films, the educational series. I'm Sean Allen. Over the next several episodes, we're going to be looking at English grammar. If you guys are new to my channel, then welcome. In case you didn't know, I have been working on a special anatomy series, so if you want to check that out, click on my special profile link down below and watch some of my anatomy videos. They're actually pretty cool and a lot of fun. However, if you are familiar with my anatomy series, then you know that I have a couple of other characters to help me out during the show. Over here to my right is Professor Word. Hey, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I especially enjoy English grammar, so get ready for some really tough tests. Uh, Professor, this is my YouTube channel, not the university. Oh, you're right. Um, well, be sure to study really hard for your exam, students. And of course, we have our chemistry professor, Professor Biochem. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here. Hey, Prof, uh, what are you doing over there? Oh, you know me, Sean. <laughs> I love performing experiments. <laughs> Prof, no! What? <coughs> oh no! Professor Bao Kim, <laughs> are you okay? Uh, I think so. Oh no! What? Oh, this is this is a disaster. My lab completely destroyed. Well, I guess it's just the two of us now. Well, if that's okay with you, Professor Bao Kim. Yeah, I think you'll have to do this one without me. <sighs> All right, then. So, if you guys are ready, then let's get started with our series. Okay, so what is English grammar? I mean, who cares, right? Well, we should care about it because we use it in our everyday lives. How? Well, here are a few examples. We use it while we are writing, talking on the phone or talking to ourselves. Oh, this assignment is killing me. I just got started on it, but my class starts in 10 minutes. Okay, you get the idea. So what is English grammar composed of? Well, it's composed of words, phrases, fragments, clauses, sentences, and paragraphs. Virtually every country in the world has its own type of grammar. I mean, there's English grammar, French grammar, German grammar, Russian grammar, Yugoslavian grammar, Chinese grammar, Japanese grammar. Uh, well, as you can see, the list goes on. In this series, we are going to be talking about English grammar and its components. We will be looking at nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, articles, conjunctions, and interjections. There is one other component to English grammar, that is punctuation. Unfortunately, we're not going to be studying punctuation in this series because, well, we're studying grammar. Don't worry, we will get to punctuation in another series. And trust me, it's going to be a good one. Back to grammar. There are some rules that we will need to talk about in this series. 
Listen to this example and see if you can find any mistakes in these sentences. Stevie walked up to the ice cream truck and said, Stevie would like a orange sherbet ice cream cone. Ooh, did you catch those mistakes? I noticed that there were two of them. Let's go back and see if we can find them. Stevie went up to the ice cream truck. All right, so far so good. And Stevie would like... Stop. Stevie would like... Wrong. The correct way to say this would be, I would like. Since Stevie is the one that is talking. Okay, let's try this again. Stevie went up to the ice cream truck and said, I would like a orange sherbet ice cream cone. Uh-oh, another error. Did you see it? Look again. I would like a orange sherbet ice cream cone. Can you see it? A orange ice cream cone? The ice cream cone is okay, but it's the very beginning that's the problem. It's the A. You wouldn't put A next to another word that starts with a vowel. So what do you do? Easy. You replace the A with an. Very crucial English grammar. Okay, let's try this one more time. Stevie went up to the ice cream truck and said, I would like an orange sherbet ice cream cone. Yes! Success! You just proofread the sentence and fixed the errors. We will be using more examples of how to use proper English throughout this series. Along the way, I will be giving you guys tips and rules that you will need to follow in order to help you study English grammar correctly. Well, that is it for today's episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. In our next episode, we are going to be looking at nouns. Before you go, Please be sure to like this video, favorite it, and leave a comment telling us what you thought about today's show. If you want more information about the educational series, check out the official Twitter and Facebook pages. The links are down below. And don't forget to check out Shion Films the Vlog Series and Shion Films the Disneyland Video Series. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, keep on learning.